Awe, awe Capoeira, ashe Double dollar with the say Awe, awe Mariposa, ashe Double dollar with the say Awe, awe Say awe, awe Awe, awe Welcome to the first ever episode of The Good Life. You're here with Captain Kai and Rupert Von T bringing you the best extreme sports in South Africa. First up, Ultimate X 2010. Alright, this is Captain Kai. I've been left in the commentating duties here at Ultimate X. It is literally boiling the sunblock off of us down here. It's time for beers, boobs, and good times. Well, firstly, what actually is Ultimate X, Kai? What, uh, what's going down there? Ultimate X is basically uh, the first real, let's call it, X Games event in South Africa and uh, brings together all the different extreme sports disciplines. Uh, the first year in 2010 we obviously had uh, BMX, we had FMX and Skate and moving forward next year I think they've added wake skating and uh, wakeboarding as well to the event. Sounds like a really, really cool event, Kai. Now, we're into the BMXing here, Rupert. You're obviously an ex BMXer, so why don't you talk us through these runs? Perfect. What we had here basic roll in two, double, uh, du two doubles, uh, dirt jumping. Guys were loving this setup. First jump, all you had to do was set up, get your basic tricks down. Jump number two was the big one, and that's the card. Uh, gathered up or gathered around. Now, uh, obviously, uh, we used to sing, oh, jeez, what was that? That there, flip whip, uh, flip X up, actually, back flip, cross your bars, quite a nice big trick, crowd love it. God, we're mad. Now, uh, oh, and there's there, something big as well. There's Mr. Colin Loudon dropping the big flip turn down, very difficult, he's one of the first guys in this country to do that. Oh, and a big forward flip from the Wayne, no, Wayne Rock, he drops the forward flip. Also, a very, very difficult trick. He's the only one in this country doing that right now. There it is again, Colin Loud flip whip. Double whip from Mr. Malcolm Peters. 360 nose grab. So, what we basically saw the top riders out today really putting down on a great setup. Captain Kaya from The Good Life, I'm here with uh, Sick Nick DeWitt, yes. top FMX rider in South Africa. Nick, what's up bro? Yeah, big, back in Cape Town, haven't been here probably about a year now, so it's good to be back. Good weather, good sun and here yeah, to do a demo and show the guys in Cape Town what I've learned over the last year, so pretty excited. Now uh, FMX in South Africa is still like relatively small in the global scheme of things, but things are definitely taking off. How, how far along are you guys? Well, I think our level's not too bad, uh, relatively high, a few, a few of our riders. But uh, the sport's really small and uh, we just, what's good for us to bring it to events like this and even if we get one or two interested riders, sponsors, just people that uh, can help build the sport, which that's really cool for us. We're constantly just trying to pioneer and make the sport bigger and better in South Africa. Are you guys ready? How are you feeling? We're not going to do anything until the crowd starts making a little bit of a noise. Hey, I'm Nick DeVert, here in Cape Town, and you're oh, watching The Good Life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah, let's make some more, ladies and gentlemen. Now we see uh, Sick Nick DeVert, obviously, leading the FMX revolution in South Africa. I've seen him do it overseas. He's a top international rider. He ranks up there with the best. And uh, him and his crew came out today to first. Seeing there, nice little uh, X uh, double can can, huge uh, Superman seat grab there, double seat grab, little wheelie there, showing the crowd what you can do. Here we go, sick Nick to big with a big, big backflip. I was amazed at how slow he did it. Everything just went so slowly. I think that might be something to do with the editors. Super difficult to do. I know it took a long time to get that down. 
but uh, he's putting it uh, in shows now. Cape Town's renowned for the wind and stuff, and we really don't like that, so that is a bit of a problem for us when we come down here, but when we got weather like this, we're happy. It's always like last time we were here, we had pretty good weather, and this time. So we're just hoping it carries on like that, and we can have some maybe even bigger events than this in Cape Town and show them, because it is a hungry crowd, they haven't seen much of it. So uh, yeah, we show them what it's about and do some cool stuff. We're hanging out at Ultimate X, I'm with the DC boys, the Black Fist. What was the skating like, bro? The uh, skating was good, uh, it's pretty hot, uh, but these guys are still putting down some good tricks, so yeah, it should be a good event. Eh? George, one of the local Durban cats, good to see him down in the uh, Western Cape. I got a little Ollie in the backflip kick, what you gonna do when I switch this shit? Sorry, uh, it's profanity. Okay, are the kids gonna see that? Do I have to have a clean tongue so mothers will enjoy my presence and company? What I get from this type of event is just the chance to see the top guys take a very simple setup and turn it into something amazing like that. A little ramp to sort of wedge rail. It's really high, it's really technical. And the real creative guys are the ones that turn that into something impressive. And next, Mr. Mork, DC, riding with the Ultimate X event. Uh, Why do you guys get involved, bro? Well, we always get to uh, get involved in the progression of sports, especially action sports, uh, freestyle motocross, BMX, and skates. It's our heritage, it's our roots. We've got to support it, otherwise, we die, you know? So we've got to move on, you know? See Moses going absolutely nuts. That's a 360 there, look like it. And then kick lip onto that bench. And nice and smooth. George oh, is giving his hands a little sandpaper treatment. Oh, GVB, nice. Oh, Here's Will. The table. That's Will. I see that guy all around town. Good to see him. How the Durban boys handling with the Cape Town heat? Ah, uh, we all good with the heat. Eh? We uh, used to sweating a little bit, so yeah, it's hot, but we'll live. And hopefully Ultimate X 2011 is just going to get better and better. Cross your fingers for the good weather, no wind. Cape Town's going to rock and roll. We've seen the sickest ever Max. We've seen the sickest BMX on skate. Thanks to the bros at DC. Thanks to the boys at Old School Productions. What a great, great Saturday. Hey boys. After the break, we hit the 2009 Cable Wake Champs at Blue Rock in Somerset West. Welcome back to The Good Life with Captain Kai and Rupert Von T. And here we are in Somerset West at the Blue Rock Cable. Champagne, stop, rewind and try it again. Shy guy, why do you lie? This isn't what you wanted. What is the deal with cable skiing? How does that fit into the whole whole uh, deal? Well, essentially, the uh, wake fraternity uh, couldn't always use boats. and I mean, they need pretty big, powerful boats with massive wakes to uh, perform the tricks they do. So, some clever chap somewhere in the world <laughs> from England <laughs> came, came up with the, the cable idea. Basically, any sort of enclosed water body they can put a cable system around and the guys can ride in a big circular direction around the body of water. 
I don't say shit on camera, dude. Who is this, Jay Lamb? Mark's a jackot. The snowboard fraternity at the uh, wakeboard event. The cable pulls them up naturally because it's up above their heads and they can use it to really get like super big air. Well, I can see that now. The guy's busting pretty big with a lot of those kickers. Just in front over here between these two towers is where the guys are going to be throwing their like double S's and uh, like all their biggest tricks. I think Jay Lamb's giving us some info. Jay Lamb, one of the local wakeboarders and snowboarders. Thanks for, uh, thanks for those words of wisdom. What Jay said was right. <laughs> uh, yeah, touche. Touche. Touche, Just, Lamb. just, just in case you haven't realised it yet, uh, you've got a, a BMXer and a surfer commentating wakeboarding here. Yeah? So, if any of the wakeboarders out there, we'd love for you guys to get hold of us and come help us next time we have to do some wakeboarding for the TV. Yeah, it'd be good to say, get some uh, some uh, locals into the studio because uh, they're the guys there on the day. He's got his best evidence on. It was really amazing to see the level of wakeboarding in South Africa. I certainly didn't realize that the guys were going this big. You can see how where the guys were launching Rupert, but basically there was a natural amphitheater behind them where the whole crowd was sitting. So when they launched, the crowd were going mad behind them. And as they came into this last bend, like you see this guy right here, boom, big ass trick right in front of the crowd and they were all going mental. Now the wakeboarders obviously take some serious punishment, Rupert, because they bind it into that board. They're going at high speed on water and as most people know, water, when you're going fast, it's actually quite hard. Yeah, that's one easy way to get an enema. Oh, okay. oh, how to get a close up and uh, swallow eight liters of water in about half a second. Loving the neon. Oh, and that's a little butt check just yeah. to finish off his run. I knew what the butt check uh, was, by I, the way. Where's the English person? I'm off the rails, bro. I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on my rails. <laughs> Okay, where are we now, Kai? We are going I into this, I know this, I Halloween know this. Jam. Oh, shingles and my dingles, Kai. This, 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 I know this place. I've been there many times. In the distance comes the fourth Riders from Hell. Scary Halloween Jam BMX contest brought to you by Monster in DC. Old school productions, baby. Check it out. It's about to get scary. Halloween Jam has been going for a couple years now. Uh, what, run by one of the locals, uh, Wayne Reich. He's got a giant piece of land next to his house. But Wayne Reich, he's built these jumps. Uh, they're really top class stuff. Whenever internationals come over, this is where they come. And oh, he's this cool guy. Ooh, that that looks is like slick. Sheriff Rupert. Slick as. That was amazing. He spent about three weeks really grooming the place. Did a lot of marketing, guys from all over the country came down for this year's 2010 Halloween Jam. Hello, well, how's it? We're out here at Halloween Jam 2010. I'm Marcus and I run Old School Productions, we do this event. We do all core sports from skate, but uh, BMX is like a passion. And obviously myself and Wayne came up with this concept about three years ago. And yeah, just the BMX is uh, my, my, my background and my roots. From the 
concept for Halloween Jam last year. Pretty cool event, had to get involved. It's turning out, it's gaining such momentum. Next year is going to be even bigger and better. What a blast. Pity about the win, but the riding was still good. Great to see so many people come out and support the event. What a winner. Big ups to Greg. Riding good. What I love about this event is that it brings together the, the big the guys who can pull on those big tricks and those smooth riders. So you get a large array of sort of different styles. Oh. Little Superman there by I think that's Jason. Also, it is deceiving. These jumps are around 10 to 15 feet apart. They're around five feet high. It's big. This stuff I'm, is I'm sorry, big. I was just distracted by the monster diamonds. Kai, we pay you to commentate. South Africa, pretty much on the map, started up three years ago, we're following what International is laying down for us. DC is here to keep it cool and core in all the action sports, skate, BMX, FMX, Ultimate X, you name it, we're there. We were here today, we'll be here next, next year. Always goes down in the heat, brings the action, check it out, we'll be there. So, little 360 by Stuart Loud in there, just yeah. cruising smoothly. Sorry, Kai, that's just super smooth. That there is a perfect example of how to get through this section with cool as ice. And he really did have the 360s down this day. I mean, he was just busting them out all over the place. Oh, and there we go, nice little backflip. Flip from Wayne, Superman from Jason. The, the, there was a lot of wind there today, so the guys out in there struggled to get a lot of their stuff down. 360 from Santa. Greg Ellingworth going past in his Santa suit. Do you think you'll catch him coming down your chimney this Christmas? <laughs> I think there's some girls who would love to have that, but Kite, no. I... I'm straight. <laughs> There's the first of many wipeouts for this man on the day. I mean, he was just not going to give up on doing that trick. And there we see him landing a clean little backflip. As you can see, it wasn't just the ladies wearing tight skirts at Halloween. Oh, 360 whip, not quite pulling it there. Little uh, 360 can can. Foot dragon into oh, DC flag. Yep, into a whiskey wiper and running man. Nice and a clean three and followed by, just, he just really had those threes down. There's the Joker with the Superman. And here we go, going for a big flip. Again, please, Drop that, that one. Big. It's a big, big jump to do stuff on. Double whip. Santa going large. There it is. Now talk us through that. What the hell was that? That there's a backflip and a tail whip. It's so difficult to do because I don't actually think you spot your pedals. You know where your pedals are. It's really just luck. After the break, we'll be back with Halloween Jam 2010. The quarter, the quarter park jam, it's 2010 and it's Halloween. Yeah, guys have been going crazy. Malcolm, Wayne, the Loudons, uh, Buddy Chellen, yeah. Flip whips, tail whips, double whips, three whips, it's been going crazy. We've got the quarter jam going on now. And yeah, the car's amped. And I mean, by this stage of the day, Rupert, the kids were going nuts. What about nuts? <laughs> but they're, they're, what I really love about this is that boom that leads into it. Perfectly, perfectly sculpted. I don't know if you ever looked at a beautiful woman and just felt, felt her body. I get yeah. the same feeling from that boom. From this boom. Really fast, they got the 
whole crowd just behind them. They hit that thing and there's only one direction to go and that's up. Nice little 540 there by one of the locals. Smooth as silk from uh, Mr. Raki. That's uh, Santa there, boosting super high. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was about 10 feet off there. That's easily height of one and a half people. It doesn't look like that, it never looks like in camera. So when you see this, just please times it by 10. There's Greg boosting super high. What I like about him is he hits that thing 10 meters high and just levels that bike out, slows the whole thing down, and it's a sight to frickin' behold. Little uh, nose jam off the top there, quite technical. Little three touches to show that he can do it. He's got it down. basically own the park. I mean, there's so many good riders. Uh, the Monster Energy riders, uh, Connor Loud unfortunately couldn't ride today. But, um, you know, Greg Illingworth, Malcolm Peters, they just ripped up the entire track here today. Uh, really showed, you know, that the BMX was on another level in South Africa. He's hauling ass towards the jump. He's trying to get a really high flare. Let's see if he gets it. There it is. Oh, disaster. Oh, he cool. walks away. Right away. Best trick went down super well. Uh, Wayne stuck a couple. A uh, couple uh, flip whips, uh, Malcolm double whips, and Greg Ellingworth with his big three no handles. Going over the rollers, around the berm. <laughs> I think uh, Greg Ellingworth taking a comp today, eh? uh, and obviously Wayne on his best trick with a flare on the quarter. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Malcolm Peters might be in it as well with his double whips. In February, we've got Ultimate X coming up again. After the last year's success, uh, we got in the waterfront, 19th of Feb. So Ultimate X, look out for it. It's going to be big this year. It's going to be huge. Um, Ultimate X is always big. Um, uh, Marcus Muse always puts on a phenomenal show as well. Um, we've got some big, big stars there. Brendan Potter is going to be there. Uh, another rider we've brought on, uh, Colin Stanton, FMX as well. It's going to be huge. Um, pulling out some big tricks. We've got the BMX guys there as well. It's, I think it's definitely going to be the hugest X Games in the Southern Hemisphere. I saw something a little different. I'm going to try a 360 yeah. hand. Yeah. You see that? Throw the, yes. throw the throw balls. It, throw it down. Obviously, uh, DC and Monster really just came to the party with old school productions to make this event happen. Yeah, and it's really cool when I see sponsors pitch up to the event, watch the event, and actually really enjoy it. It just brings the whole crew together. Quarterfinal best trick. Quarterfinal best trick. The winner all the way from South Africa for his hip flip. Jason. Jason, you get it. You are number one, Jason. Come on now. I found that was really good. Hip flip, super cool. We had a flip, attempted flip, whip. We had some big threes, but I think the guy who just had it, he had the style, he had the height, was uh, Santa Claus, Greg Ellingworth. Okay, when he comes to where's Greg, give Santa a high five. Here we are. There's a nice big pack, four pack of monster. There's the last one of Dosh. And the awkward two, the moment silence. Pose and action. Nice work. Okay, now the dirt jam. Highly entertaining, very, very difficult. The guys had high speed wins to deal with. It was a difficult one to judge, but 
We managed to pull three guys together who really, really gave it their all. In third place, all the way from Dirty Dirt Bin, could Stuart Loudon come and collect third place? Now, first and second in no particular order. Can Greg and David please come up here? Greg and David. For the 2010 Halloween Jam, all the way to the continent of Africa, the southern tip. He is not blue, he is not green. He is red. Mr. Greg Illingworth, you have won. Nice work, brother. Number two, Jameis Rigby. There's no doubt in my mind that you were super, super impressive. You competed with top, top heavyweights. Guys, this is an amazing competition. Number one, Greg Ellingworth. Number two, David Rigby. Let's make some noise, make some noise. Great, what a great show. I'm so looking forward to uh, next year. There's a lot of good stuff coming, a lot of good BMXing, skating, snowboarding. Surfing. Um, surfing for sure. So for all you guys out there kind of watching The Good Life, we're bringing you some good stuff to your TV. That's right. This is Captain Kai. Love The Good Life. Rupert Von T. Later, Gator.